Hey guys, so today we're gonna break down that intro sequence that you just saw. So that was the opening sequence to a video that I posted on my Instagram not too long ago. It's kind of like a promo video or a spec ad for HelloFresh. I didn't get paid by HelloFresh to make it. We ordered our own box and I decided to make a video of one of the meals. If you haven't seen the full video, it's about 30 seconds long, you can pause this and go over to my Instagram and just watch it. Now that that's out of the way, let's break down exactly how I shot this. So we'll go over to our kitchen here and you'll probably notice the first challenge that we had is this island is not very long. It's about 39 and a half inches, so just a little less than three and a half feet. So our challenge was to get the knife to slide with enough velocity and to get enough of that in frame. We tried it a couple times, but we didn't want to just let the knife slide right off the end of the island. What we ended up having to do was take this green chest that we have, place it at the end of the island and pad it with some cushions so now we can slide that knife with a little bit more velocity and not worry if it falls off the edge of the island. So the sequence is made up of two shots. The first one being my wife placing the recipe card down on the island. And you'll notice that that shot ends with me spinning out and to the side of the island, that wood grain pattern. So the second shot, I need to be spinning in from that wood grain pattern into whatever the scene is. The problem is with the second shot, I wanted the knife to be sliding back into her hand. So I had to reverse the shot. We shot her sliding the knife away from her. So what I had to do is at the end of that shot, I had to spin out uh, into the side of the, the island on the other side. And that way when I reverse the clips, it would look like one smooth motion. But here again, the length of the island presented a challenge. Because it was so short, I couldn't get enough of that knife in frame sliding by itself. I wanted the knife in frame without her hand touching it. And, and the length of the island just wasn't allowing me to do that. So what we ended up doing was deciding to slide the knife right off the island and me to track it as it left the island, but then I still needed to end the shot on something with that wood grain pattern. So we set up the, the cutting board there at the side of the fridge, we propped it up and then had her shoot the knife and I ended my shot on that cutting board. And I think it worked out pretty good. So that's pretty much it. Because everything worked out so well in camera, there was very basic uh, editing to do to get that to work together. I basically just trimmed the end off one clip, the beginning off the other, and put them together. A little bit of color grade, some sound design, and music, and you get this. Thanks so much for watching guys, that's all I got for you today. If you enjoyed this little behind the scenes look into my process or got something from it, then give me a thumbs up, I'd really appreciate that. And feel free to leave a comment uh, of any other thoughts you might have as to what you'd like me to cover on this channel. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so that you don't miss another video. Take care guys, that's it for me and we'll see you in the next one.